Hi, everyone. We have author Nicole Scott here with us, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and her book. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name's Nicole. Um, I live in New Jersey. have a 13-year-old daughter now who's really 13, but like going on 26. Um, you know, a little bit about me. I just turned 40. Well, not just because the year is almost over in January. So, you know, I kind of have this new lease on life, or at least so I thought, but then COVID hit. So, I think I'm gonna be 40 again next year, but yeah. <laughs> we all gonna, we're all gonna get a do-over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so a little just more about me. Um, I've been working in education for over 20 years. So right now I work in higher education. So just have a passion for helping others. That's just always something that's been important to me. So I always make sure that I include that in my work. And um, I'm a new newly published author. I published my first book in July and it's called Finally Free and the subtitle is From Perfect Storm to Perfect Peace. And this book is so important to me because it really, you know, started as a journaling exercise, but then I really felt like the more that I started journaling that I was actually onto something and it really just chronicles like the last 3 years of my life and just how everything started to fall apart all at the same time. And it created a perfect storm for me and how I really was at the point where I just didn't want to be here anymore. And the steps that I took to have to, you know, that I had to take to kind of bring myself out of that. And, you know, if there was nothing else that anyone got out of my book, I wanted to bring awareness to the suffering and silence piece, because especially as Black women, we're expected to be so strong all the time. And even now, when people read my book, they're just like, I would have never known that you were going through these things. So, you know, I thought it was important, you know, to kind of let people know that you're not alone. We all go through it and just kind of sharing these things that I did along the way through therapy and other things to bring myself out of the, you know, depression that I was in and to the point that I am now. That's good. That's, that's amazing. Congratulations for one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. So how, this was your first book. How was the, um, the publishing process for you? The publishing process was relatively smooth. So I feel like, you know, when you're a new author, you're not really sure, you know, which company to use, you know, everyone promises you the moon and the stars, you know, so I kind of tried to do my research, you know, looked on a better business bureau, and I found a company called Palmetto Publishing, and I really liked them. I feel like they were very helpful, you know, with answering my questions and, you know, didn't mind that I was, you know, asking a lot of questions because, you know, you want to put out a good product. So I have to say, I, you know, only to the end, it's like, you're so eager, you see the product is almost done. And I felt like, you know, that they were not, you know, giving my, pro my project as much time as they should have, but in the end, they were. It's just that was my own eagerness taking over. Okay. Do you have your book with you? Yes. Okay. Show us your book. Finally free. Okay. One perfect song. Nice, nice. Now, what made you choose the, the cover? Because I just see the beach theme just made me, it made me think of peace when I saw it, you know? So just being there, you know, it's like when you're out there, just the water, you know, the waves, it just kind of just brings peace over me. And, you know, that I was just like, when I saw it, I was like, yes, that, that to me screams peace. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you have an ebook as well? No, only the okay. paperback. Just the paperback. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where can your book be purchased? On Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. What's your social media uh, information? So IG, it's finally free to be me, but it's actually finally underscore free underscore the number two and be me. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now you say you, re you released the book in July. How long did it take you to write it? Oh, it took two years because, you know, it, I really think it took me a while to get over like the the shame or, you know, the guilt, the embarrassment of all the wrong choices that I made. So, you know, I, I really toggled back and forth, like, oh my God, people are going to think you're so stupid, you know, when they read this book. So it was heavy, you know, and I'm naturally a private person. So for me to be like really bearing my whole soul, like it took a lot for me to do it. Like, you know, my therapist kept saying me like, Nicole, but people need to hear your story. I'm like, I know, but 
I don't want them to be like, you're so smart, but so stupid. So it took about two years and I had probably 80% of it finished. Okay. Like putting that last, you know, bit of finishing touches yeah. on it. Yeah. Okay. Did you start writing another one yet? No, I've been thinking about it, but it's just like, whew, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just getting over the hump for the, from right. the first one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your book? No, just hoping, like I said, I think it's something for everyone in there, you know, whether it's, you know, failed relationships or not loving yourself enough or, you know, just making bad choices. So, you know, I think that, you know, regardless of where you are in your life, I feel like there's something that someone, you know, anyone can take from the book, male or female. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for the opportunity. No problem.